welcome back this is the last video of the chapter 4 friends it's know your values it's in the last part of your worksheet so i'll just read out and we'll discuss the question answers i hope you have completed that session so i just want to make all the clarifyings of doubts in this chapter i mean in this session it's you know your values okay so shall we start yes know your values a reward for honesty. Remember that wherever your heart is, there you will find your treasure. Paulo Colo. So it's a great writer. He is a great writer. So that is his thought given in the beginning. So looking into the story, there was once a poor jobless old man. No one was there to look after him. He wanted here and there for food and money. Somehow he passed the, passed the days. So happened that a wealthy man of that area lost his wallet with a huge sum of money. So there was a jobless old man. So there was no one to look after him. And he used to wander here and there. Okay. And there was no food or money for him to buy. So he used to wander, he used to wander here and there and beg for money or the food. So, and he passed, he, there was days passed and there was a millionaire, millionaire is a rich person who lost his wallet and it was having a huge amount. So, he was very wealthy man and he lost his purse in which he had a lot of money. He couldn't remember the places where he had gone and he was not able to remember which all places he went. For him, it didn't matter much for he was quite rich. Instead, the rich man gave a complaint in the police station and left it. So, he came to understand that he will not get it and he was not remembering where to find it. So, what did he do? So, it was not a new thing for him because he was rich and there was no problem whether he lost a purse with money or not because he was so rich. And what happened? And he left a message, he left a complaint in the police station and he left that case just like that. The poor man as usual went to the beach to lie down at night. Unexpectedly, he stepped on something which made him curious, but the darkness held him back. So, as usual, he used to, it seems like he used to sleep on the beach and so he went, as usual, he was going to sleep and he stepped on something and he was very curious, something unusual, what is it, it's not the sand, I'm stepping on something, it doesn't feel like stone also, something unusual. So, he was very curious, but due to the darkness, due to the night time, he was not able to see anything. In the morning, he was surprised to see a wallet near him. Without having a peep into it, he went to the police station and handed over the wallet. So, in the morning when he woke up, he could understand, he understood that it was a wallet. So, he was not very curious to see what was inside. He just wanted to know what the thing that he had stepped on. Okay. So, without opening the wallet, what did he do? He went to the police station and gave it. The police knew that there was a complaint and it was soon handed over to the wealthy man. So, police understood, ah, this is the, this purse belongs, the valve belongs to the rich man who gave the complaint earlier. The poor man was rewarded for his honesty by the rich man with a good job and he lived happily ever after. So, he, the poor man being honest, he was very happy and what did he do? He gave a job for the poor man to live happily and the poor man was very happy and he was very happy to have a good life and he lived happily. Okay, so that's the story. The story gives us the moral that whatever, wherever we are, if we have a good heart, we should show that to everyone. We should be kind and we should be honest to everything, whatever we do. Even if no one is seeing, the Almighty God is doing. We have our soul is seeing it, our heart is seeing, so we should be honest, okay. So that's the story about, we look into the question answers. And the moral is, honesty is the best policy. Choose the correct answer. The poor man could be called dishonest if he, option A, did not return the wallet with the money. Reported to the police station that he found a wallet. Which one it would be? It would be the option a, because he should be called dishonest if he did not return the wallet, isn't it? 
the next question if you find a 10 rupees note in the classroom you would option a hide it in your pocket option b hand it over to the teacher what would you do if you find a i know you won't find it but if you find something which is not yours what do you do do for example if it is a pencil you would put it in the lost and found box or you should say ma'am i found a pencil or eraser isn't it so what will you do you will hand it over to the teacher yes your friend gets punished for an offense you did you will that means you did something wrong and your friend is getting the scolding what will you do option a confess your offense and apologize option b keep quiet and let the matter rest so what will you do will you go and say sorry and you will say that it is my mistake or you will keep quiet and you will just leave the matter just like that what will you do it is you will do option a isn't it you will say sorry and you will take your responsibility of doing something wrong yes option 4 i mean question 4 sorry question 4 your score you score less mark for a test and the answer paper is sent home you will the answer is i mean uh, what will you do if you are having a low mark and you got the answer sheet and you are not will you what will you do option a throw the paper on the way home option b show the paper to the parents and promise to score better marks next time so what will you do will you tear the paper or will you throw the paper somewhere or you will show it to your parent and promise them to promise that you will get good marks it is what will you be doing it is option b yes or oh, question number 5 are you honest with what you do to others that you have to do it you have to answer it sixth question have you ever been dishonest with anyone that also you have to do it okay so complete it i know you have completed it we we were just discussing it the answers and there is an activity in the next paper i mean on the next page prepare a book marker for your friend okay so that is a that is an activity that you have to do it okay you have to prepare a book marker book marker means just a piece of paper or just a small card uh, with designs and all that you have to draw and picture it okay book marker okay you have to make it for your friend and you have to stick it at the last page So we'll see in the next class. Thank you and bye bye. Take care. Okay, bye.